Hi, preschool friends and grown-ups. Um, as you'll see, I know it's kind of hard to see that word, bingo, um, on the wall here taped up. I have number bingo. Um, so far at school, we played number bingo once, especially once we learn our numbers zero through 10. I like to play a couple more times in the spring. Um, and I thought this would be something that you guys could create and do at home as well. Um, when we play at school, our number bingo cards are already ready to go for us. And we give each kiddo a handful of red chips. So as I call the numbers, they can cover their bingo boards. Now we play with eight. And again, we don't stress learning and knowing the teen numbers, uh, 11 through 20. That's a way, way higher skill that they will learn in kindergarten. But at school, we do play this game zero through 20 because it's a good visual motor habit for them to get into. Even if they don't know that's a 20, they can still see when I hold up the one that says 20 that, oh, that's a two and a zero that looks like this. I'm going to cover it. So again, even if your kiddo, um, even if they don't know the numbers zero through 10, you can still use those numbers as well. It's just a good visual motor habit for them. If you show them this next to their bingo board, hmm, are there any that look like this? Let's go through each one and you can hold it up. And when they find the match, then they know that they can cover it. And then you can talk about, well, that's an eight and let's count to eight and all kinds of things like that, all right? So since I have the number bingo with me, you guys don't have it at home. I just took simple construction paper, two pieces, cut it in half and created my own board. Try and mix up the numbers, um, especially fun to play as a family if you have lots of siblings at your house too, because um, then each person can have a board. If you don't have anything for bingo chips per se to cover your board spots. Um, feel free to improvise. Use fun things like popcorn. As you cover your numbers, cover it up with popcorn. When you get your whole board covered, guess what you get to do with the popcorn? Eat it. You could use Cheerios, M&Ms, um, Skittles, um, Smarties. Um, you could also use paper adults if you don't want to have be food related and cut pieces of paper for them for chips and they, then they can cover it with that, all right? Um, Grown-ups, I do find that it's very easy for the kiddos to play. If you have all the numbers written out in advance and you turn them upside down and you can draw the number. So I just drew six. Does anyone have a six on their board? If they do, cover it. And then I leave the papers with the numbers in front of the bingo game so that way they can see which ones we've named so far and which ones we've gotten so far okay um preschool friends they know that when you get your board covered you can yell bingo and then that's when you would get to eat all your treats or you would get a special prize at the end which hopefully if you use food it's eating your yummy food um for my kiddos that are recognizing all of these numbers because we do have a couple that know all these numbers feel free instead of playing with eight you could make one with nine, or you could go all the way up and make a four by four with 16, um, especially those kiddos that can recognize more numbers. At school, for the kiddos that are able to do those things, sometimes we just give them two boards next to each other, and they're in charge of doing two boards, and their bingo is yelled when they have both boards covered. All right? So hopefully that's a fun game that you guys can create and make at home. Again, however you want to make it. Let me get that the right way. There we go. <laughs> However you want to make it, um, feel free to use whatever you'd like to cover your bingo um, boards. I always love popcorn because I it's one of my favorite treats. And adults, a great way to get them practicing their numbers again, writing, um, using those crocodile fingers. And then just to help them, might take a little more time on your hand. Just have everything written out in, before you start in advance to lay out as you play. You can play multiple times too. Um, this is a really, like I said, a fun game that the kiddos at preschool really enjoyed. And we were going to play um, a couple more times as we learned all of our numbers. All right, my preschool friends. I hope you get a chance to play that as a family. Enjoy. And I will see you very soon. Love you guys. Miss you.